say my biggest female inspiration is not just one person. Um, it's a lot of ladies. Um, I was raised by, by a bunch of strong women. Um, my mom, um, my grandmother, my aunt, who's my godmother, my older bossy sister. <laughs> um, but all of them together, I think, played a huge role in who I am today. And so when I think about that question, it's not just one person, it's a bunch of people. And even um, as I thought through this question, um, my father, I'm, I'm actually my father's daughter to the T. So he is a big part of my inspiration as well, even though he's definitely a male and not a female. I did have a mentor early on. Um, again, it's not just one person, it's a lot of people. Um, they, throughout my 20s, 30s, and 40s in my career, I would look at different people as my mentors. And whether they knew that they were my mentor or not, they were. And I would look at people, um, people's positive traits as well as their negative traits because I would look at them and say okay this is who I want to be I want to emulate their behaviors or their characters or their ethics um, but then I also looked at uh, people who I realized I don't want to be so I know it sounds like a weird answer to a mentor but there were many of them out there in my career where I really did watch them to determine who I wanted to be in my career Three things that I would offer as advice to young women who are starting their career. The first is to surround yourself by a group of women that are going to love you and support you. And I mean this from a friendship standpoint, but I also mean it from a colleague standpoint. Um, I read this article um, a couple years ago called The Power of the Pack, and I just, it really resonates with me that we as women really need to come together and support each other, and having this group of women around you that is your pack um, is really, really important. Um, so finding those women as you start your career, because it may just be one or two in your 20s, but by your 30s, it may be four or five or 10 or 15, or you know, here I am 50 years old, and. I have, I feel like a huge, wonderful, amazing group of women who are part of my pack that I've got their back, they've got my back. Um, second would be to, um, to let go of some things. Like it's okay to let go of things that are not healthy for you, be it people in your lives that are not healthy for you or, or events that have happened that are not healthy for you. So being able to let go um, and that was a hard one for me, and it took me a long time to realize that it, it was okay to let go of certain people in my life or um, situations, um, and to keep looking forward and doing what is best for me. Um, and then the last piece of advice is um, to, um, to listen. I think one of the most important virtues is to listen, and I mean this from a personal standpoint and a professional standpoint. Um, listening to people and not talking the whole time will actually allow you to hear the bigger picture and I think allow you to be a little bit more diplomatic in the way you handle situations in your career. I'd like to give a shout out to several people. I found out that um, I was nominated by several people for this award um, that I'm really deeply honored to have um, been awarded. Um, so Rachel with Gamble Communications, um, I believe she submitted a, a beautiful um, um, application that she submitted. Um, and so I, she's my first shout out for sure. And then secondly is um, Candice Ladder. She's part of my Power of Women group. And I believe uh, there were a couple of other women in my POW group that um, nominated me as well for this. And then thirdly, it's um, my team at the Chamber. Um, I have to give them a huge shout out. Ben is our CEO and he's been my partner um, at the Chamber for, um, we're going on 10 years now. Um, and to do anything successfully, you can't do it alone. You, you usually have a wonderful team with you. And um, Ben and I have built this wonderful team that we have right now. Um, so it's, it's Ben and, and Aaron and Ashley and Pamela. And then also I heard that Haley spent a lot of time putting the application together too. So I wanted to give her an extra special shout out. For the best 
advice that I've given myself that I've been following is making a schedule. And I actually make a daily schedule um, for me, as well as my eight-year-old son who I am homeschooling. So um, every morning or the night before, I actually write down my schedule and his schedule um, and make sure that I give myself some extra time when we both are scheduled for a webinar, um, as in like right now. <laughs> He's on his Zoom and I'm on my Zoom here. Um, so the schedule's been really, really important for both of us. And then a part of that schedule is making sure that we exercise. Uh, so every day, Colt, my son and I, and our 90 pound yellow lab take a walk in the neighborhood. Uh, the exercise, the sun, um, just being outside has been a huge positive impact for us. The funniest thing I've tried to cook um, and I've been cooking it like almost every day, definitely several times a week. My husband is an avid hunter, so we have a huge freezer out back full of venison. So I have done venison tacos, venison spaghetti, venison sloppy joes, uh, venison um, stroganoff. <laughs> I mean, just everything with venison in it. So. Anybody needs a venison recipe, feel free to call me because I have a ton of them. More of a wine girl, um, but I have to say that over the past seven weeks, um, I have made myself a martini or two or three. Um, and um, I have made a couple of bourbon drinks, but it's not anything exciting. It's just, you know, bourbon with a splash of water and a lime. 